As the COVID-19 pandemic rages on in most parts of the world, how are Agilists finding meaning and purpose in these troubled times? How can we connect, inspire, and support each other? In days gone by, Caravan Sarai's provided rest, recovery, and community for travelers along the ancient Silk Road. Similarly, we hope that our Agile Caravan Sarai episodes will provide rest, inspiration, and hope. We hope each episode will remind us of our shared Agile values and thus bring us closer together. In past episodes, we've heard from Agile Manifesto authors like Jim Highsmith, Kent Beck, and Alistair Coburn. We've connected with captains of industry like Michael Kara from Nationwide Insurance. We've also heard from global Agile titans, including Rashina Hoda and Evan Leyburn from Australia and Naresh Jain from India. As we begin to see the glimmers of hope for the end of the pandemic, Agilists continue to respond with resilience. This is a time for transformation. I invite you to join me as we continue our journey together. I'm Sanjeev Augustine, and this is Agile Caravan Sarai. Jim Benson is a pioneer of knowledge work and creator of personal Kanban. Jim is a public speaker, consultant, and author who is an expert in effectiveness for individuals, teams, and organizations. After three decades as a business owner, team leader, and employee in both commercial and government agencies, Jim has shifted his focus to helping people and teams work out sticky problems. He founded Modus Cooperandi in 2007, which is a management consultancy that uses lean systems thinking, agile management, and brain science to help their clients communicate and manage their work by building collaborative management systems. Jim's also the founding partner of the Modus Institute and the co-author of the acclaimed book, Personal Kanban, Mapping Work and Navigating Life, which won the Shingo Research Award in 2013. Jim Benson. We're uh, past the 20th anniversary of the Agile Manifesto, February 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, was the 20th uh, anniversary, and it's been at least 20 or so years of Agile. And so first question for you is, what are your reflections on the past 20 years of Agile? Um, it's been an exciting, bumpy, weird ride. <laughs> uh, sometimes the most beautiful experiences and sometimes, uh, you know, flame outs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I was on a panel discussion the other day with a bunch of people in Australia. Uh, and uh, in the past, that group of people and I might have butted heads on uh, certain agile beliefs or dogma or, mm -hmm. or contrivances. Mm -hmm. And we had just the best conversation because I think largely and unfortunately, uh, the last two years since they were since they've kind of enforced remote working, mm -hmm. um, Agile has had to adapt from some of its ideas like pizza teams and everybody be co-located and, you know, tie your shoelaces together so you can't get away <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> and, and, and we started to recognize because when William Rowden and I had our... I would say our first super successful agile project back in 2099. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Um, we had actually a, a global team. Mm -hmm. We had people in France and people in Canada and people in Asia all working on our little team of eight people. So the, the, the beauty of that was that everyone was, was remote except maybe William and me and Alan, mm -hmm. but the team itself had an, it was the distribution of people as a percentage was very high. Yeah. And I think that what we're starting to find is that when you run into problems, it's when you have like a 50, 50 split, right. Or you have silos that are split. Right. Um, and so uh, the, my, I guess, to, to draw a bow on this really quickly is just that my feeling is that Agile has done a lot of, um, has had like a, a reintroduction into the real world over the last two years mm -hmm. that has been really exciting to watch and be part of. So it feels like I can 
I can kind of come back and be agile again. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's, that's been yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So and you've always brought the, the lean flavor, especially with you and uh, Tony Ann with the whole personal Kanban kind of thing and all that. So mm -hmm. I want to sort of quickly segue into our second question is, um, what has the pandemic done to you personally, or what, what's your personal experience? Well, uh, um, the, the pandemic has been difficult in a lot of ways. Uh, it's been difficult because we were used to face-to-face -face work. Mm -hmm. And so for the several years before the start of the pandemic, we were working in construction, actually, in, in, in New York, mm -hmm. bringing Agile and Lean into, into the construction world which was incredibly rewarding. And then when COVID hit, we weren't sure what was going to happen because we'd been flying three weeks out of four for 13 years. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of equated in our heads, airplane money. <laughs> it's just like, now, now what are we gonna do? Uh, we doubled down on Modus Institute, which is our school. Uh, we introduced a new uh, certification and accreditation on, in visual management, which has gone ridiculously well and has been crazy rewarding. Mm -hmm. And I uh, worked on some books, but have had lots of clients. So that's been really nice. What's been hard is working with people in two ways in this. One is they're all flat screens or you're always looking at the camera and not at them. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I, I find now that when I go like to dinner with people, I kind of look about an inch and a half to their left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and uh, and, and as, as you also uh, unfortunately know, uh, we've lost a lot of good people during the pandemic, which has made mm -hmm. it very painful and has made it painful not to be able to share time with them, remember them appropriately. Right. Uh, and um, so I'm definitely, I'm gonna say like, we've, we've survived nicely, but I, I, if I could go back and make it not happen, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to enter into some, some sort of a Marvel movie to, to turn back that time, I think. Yes. But I, li I like your phrase, survive nicely. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Um, so that can sort of roll us straight into our third question here, which is, uh, we're looking at 10, 15, maybe another 20 years of agile, at least, uh, where you and I might be there looking at down the pike, mm -hmm. what are your, uh, thoughts and comments and advice and, uh, mainly for inspiration for all of those agilists out there in particular, your fans worldwide. What I love about the direction of Agile right now is it's going back to where you and I remember it being, you know, in 99 and 2000 and 2001, or how we remember Kanban being when we first introduced Kanban, mm -hmm. which is that we're at a point now where we've kind of blown up the paradigms that we were clinging to mm -hmm. across the board. And that right. gives us all sorts of opportunities to think of ways to make work more humane, right. more fun, mm -hmm. higher quality, um, mm -hmm. uh, and higher quality to make us feel more professional satisfaction. Uh, there is not just a movement in Agile, but in Lean and in business and life in general to make things suck less. <laughs> Uh, like literally is just like, you know, we, we, we've been handed uh, a, a difficult global situation to deal with mm -hmm. and people have become very good at doing more than coping. Yeah. Yeah. And that should come back to agile and we shouldn't forget it. So when we get out of this, when, when, <laughs> when we get out of this, not, not if, 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 but when, yeah. when we get out of all of this and we kind of go back to normal, uh, it's going to be incumbent upon us to remember that mm -hmm. this is a thing that, okay. that, um, that waking up in the morning and doing the right work at the right time in a way that we're professionally satisfied with is what work is all about. Mm -hmm. And it's not about panicking or stressing or coming up with fake deadlines or, or things like that. But it's like, 
how can we as professionals be the best professionals we can be? And I'm psyched for that. Uh, there's business owners are calling us in all verticals and asking that question. How can we make our work better for the people who are actually doing the work? And that's a, that's a gift. We shouldn't squander that at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim. That's uh, very inspirational. If I might sum up, uh, it's uh, survived nicely uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, be the best professionals um, that we can be as we move forward. Right, and into the uh, into the future. So thank you for your time. Really appreciate you joining me. You bet. Yeah.